anatomy of the muscles of the arm. We're looking at the superficial layer of the anterior compartment, consisting of the short head of biceps brachii as well as the long head of biceps brachii. The short head of biceps brachii originates from the supraglenotubercle of the scapula, inserts directly into the radial tuberosity. Main actions flex are flexions of the elbow, nerve supply includes musculocutaneous nerve, and brachial artery and anterior circumflex humeral artery supplies the muscle. The long head of biceps brachii starts off the coracoid process of the scapula, inserts into the radial tuberosity again, action again flexion, nerve supply includes musculocutaneous nerve and arterial supply, brachial artery and circumflex humeral artery. The question mark, the illustration, the question mark represents the long head of the biceps brachii and the short head being more medial and long head being more lateral. So the main things I want to remember, want you to remember from here is the origins. Both of them originate from the scapula, one from the coracoid process and one from the supraglenoid tubercle. So we're gonna let's look directly into the 3D anatomy model of the biceps brachii. So here highlighted now we have the long head of the biceps brachii, and now in orange we have the short head of the biceps brachii. Both of these muscles uh, make up the anterior compartment and they make up the superficial compa anterior compartment. Let's look now at the uh, point of origin and insertion. As from the lecture, you should know that the long head inserts originates from the um, so we have the in, uh, origin of the long head of bicep brachii starts from the superglenoid tubercle of the scapula, whereas the short head starts from the apex of the coracoid process of the scapula. Now they both insert into the radial tuberosity. So if we were to go back and look at it again, the tendon of the long head starts at the the point as highlighted as purple now, the superglenoid tubercle of the scapula, and the tendon of the short head starts at the apex of the coracoid process of the scapula, and they both insert into the radial tuberosity of the radial bone, radius of the radius bone, radius. Now, these two muscles make up, like I said, make up the superficial compartment. The nerve supply, they're innervated by the muscular branch of the muscular cutaneous nerve. So the muscular cutaneous nerve has both a uh, muscular branch as well as a superficial skin branch, which you will go into detail later. So you can see the muscular cutaneous branch and the arterial supply include both the anterior circumflex artery as well as the brachial artery. So you can see the um, here highlighted on the screen now we have the brachial artery or the axillary artery and then they go on to form the axillary artery here in green goes on to form the brachial artery and gives off a branch known as the anterior circumflex humeral artery which is highlighted in green. So the anterior circumflex artery mainly supplies the lateral long head as well as the medial part of the short head but mainly the brachial artery. So deep layer of the anterior compartment include the brachialis muscle as well as the coracoid brachialis muscle. The brachialis muscle originates from the anterior aspect of the distal half of the humerus and inserts directly into the coronoid process of the tuberosity of ulna, supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve and radial nerve, both. So now there's two nerves involved. And the supply comes from the brachial artery as well as the ulna collateral artery and the radial recurrent. On the other hand, the coracoid brachialis, which is located a bit more medial and superiorly, starts off with the coracoid process and inserts into the middle the medial half of the humerus, supplied by the muscular cutaneous nerve, and the arterial supply includes brachial artery and circumflex humeral artery. So on this picture, you can see the coracoid brachialis, you can see the biceps brachii being cut out, and the brachialis muscle in the bottom here, as well as the coracoid brachialis muscle on the top here have the deep layer of the anterior compartment of the um, muscles of the uh, arm. So here on the screen right now we can see the biceps brachii long head and short head. So if we remove these layers what we can now see is two muscles which form the deep layer of the anterior compartment of the muscles. So first we have the brachialis muscle and the brachialis muscle as well as we have the coracobrachialis muscle. So the brachialis muscle, let's talk about the origin and insertion. The insertion uh, origin of the brachialis muscle starts 
at the anterior aspect of the distal half of the humerus. So it originates across the whole anterior compartment of the and the distal half of the humerus and it inserts into the coronoid process of the ulna. So the coronoid process of the ulna. Now the uh, coracobrachialis on the other hand originates from the um, coracoid process of the scapula. Remember one other muscle originated from there as well which was the short head of the biceps brachii and they insert into the middle third of the humerus. So it inserts into the humerus. So the coracoid, uh, coracobrachialis muscle and you have the brachialis muscle. These are the deep layers. Now, one interesting fact about the coracobrachialis muscle I want you to know is that the median nerve, sorry, the musculocutaneal nerve usually pierces the coracobrachialis muscle. So when you're in dissection hall or when you're looking at a gross anatomy, you can check this, confirm this by checking if the musculocutaneous nerve pierces it. Now, the arterial supply again to both the um, the arterial supply to both the brachialis and coracobrachialis are the brachial artery as well as the radial recurrent artery as well as the superior ulnar artery. So you can see that this, so you can, the artery comes down from the um, forms of brachial artery and the brachial artery gives off branches known as arteria profunda brachialis which is not shown here and they come on to form ulnar, the radial recurrent artery which is here as well as the superior ulnar collateral. In my next video I have gone through the different branches of the brachial artery. The coracobrachialis on the other hand is supplied by the anterior circumflex artery as well as the brachial artery. Now the nerve supply of coracobrachialis is the musculocutaneous nerve and of the brachialis is both radial nerve as well as musculocutaneous nerve. So you need to understand that it's supplied both by radial, radial from the back and musculocutaneous from the front. So posterior compartment of the arm includes both triceps, the long head of the triceps brachii, which and the short lateral head of the triceps brachii. The long head originates from the infraglenotubercle and inserts into the olecranon of the ulna. Actually the triceps brachii, all three heads the long head, lateral head and the medial head all inserts into a tendon which then goes and inserts into the olecranon of the ulna. The nerve supplies the radial nerve and the artery supply includes the superior ulna collateral artery as well as the posterior circumflex humeral artery and the deep brachial artery. Pause the video and read the what's on the screen if, if I'm talking too fast. The lateral head of the triceps brachii, so the more outer part, the one where people who usually go to gym are the ones that's more obvious when you work out and stuff which is more the bigger head of the triceps originates on the posterior surface of the humerus and inserts again into the same area into the tendon which then goes on to insert into the olecranon of the ulna nerve supplied again radial nerve and deep and the arterial supply includes the deep brachial artery posterior circumflex and humeral artery last but not least we have the medial head of the triceps brachii originating in the same area but this time the muscle is very small and usually very not, not very visible in, even in gross uh, slices or gross section. The nerve supply includes the radial nerve and the brachial artery and superior ulnar collateral artery. Posterior compartment of the muscles of the arm. Now we have the triceps. The triceps are split into triceps. We have the long head of the triceps brachii. Highlighted now in orange is the lateral head of the triceps brachii. And then a very small muscle here is known as the medial head of the triceps brachii. These three muscles together form the posterior compartment of the uh, uh, muscles of the arm. The triceps brachii origins from the infraglenoid tubercle. The long head of the lateral long head of the biceps brachii in, uh, originated from the supraglenoid, but this time the long head of the triceps brachii starts from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula and so we can see that in the so you can see that the uh, long head of the triceps brachii starts here highlighted in purple and which is the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula and it in but all of them inserts into the tendon of the triceps brachii now I'll go into that in detail for now I want you to know is 
the long head starts off at the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. The lateral head starts off in the posterior surface of the humerus, so it's the post uh, superior radial groove, so here. And the medial head um, starts off just behind on the humerus again. So inferior radial groove or posterior surface of the humerus, however you want to call it. All of these three muscles usually insert into a tendon. That tendon goes and inserts into the olecranon process of the ulna. That's the key thing to remember. Now, so we have the long head, which is more medial. The lateral head, again, is called lateral because more laterally. And then we have the medial head, which is behind. Now, let's isolate the long head and check the nerve supplies and everything that happens. The long head usually is supplied by the radial nerve, which is a branch of the cervical ple uh, brachial plexus. And the arterial supply include both the superior ulna collateral, so we can see here, so highlighted in orange is the triceps uh, long head. So we can see the artery highlighted in light blue uh, color. So you can see it's been supplied by the posterior circumflex humeral artery where the mouse is pointed to now, which is the posterior circumflex humeral artery. Then we have the deep brachial artery as well as we have the um, superior ulna collateral artery, which is shown here where my mouse is pointing now. The nerve supply again was just a radial nerve. Now we have the lateral head of the triceps, which is more the bigger compartment and usually in arms, uh, of, which is more the bigger, bigger muscle of the triceps. This again is supplied by the deep brachial artery and the posterior circumflex artery. The nerves include again the radial branch now if we were to get i hide this then you would see the um, medial head is very small muscle but it's located more deep and um, the nerve again is the radial muscle as well as the artery this time is a deep brachial artery and the superior ulna collateral artery so that sums up the video